screen and then you can put the link here for two minutes. Okay. Can you send me the PPT? Uh, it's in the team for group. Uh, Pranava, I think I've sent you the PPT. Uh, it's not mentioned in this week's PPT, but you can mm, see the last week's and then you can start. Um, we don't have PPT for this uh, week. Uh, we have, but just for the recap, you can refer the last week's PPT. Uh -huh. Hello, everyone. Um, uh, um, uh, I'm just uh, myself, Pranav, and I'm just doing a recap for yesterday, uh, last week's lessons. Um, so, uh, uh, in last week, um, we learned about variables. The variables are nothing but containers which store some data. Um, uh, just like uh, some sugar box containing sugar, the shoe box containing a shoe and etc. So variables are some bo like boxes which contains data. And as we know, purpose of variables are for storing data which can which can be manipulated means change uh, in program. And creating variable is not difficult. Uh, first for creating variable, first we need to you know, give a name. Then we have to give an equal sign, means passing the value. And for string, uh, and we have to enter the data. So there are two types of variables, which are mutable and immutable. Uh, mutable are those variables uh, with, in which we can change the values. Immutable are just opposite of that. We can't change the value. And common types of variables are integers. Um, integers uh, means whole numbers, which are from zero to um, infinite, not uh, negative. Integers, people think that integers are negative numbers and personal, no. Integers are uh, uh, whole numbers. And float, float means decimal numbers, uh, 0 0.10001, like that. Strings means text. Uh, for strings, uh, the value should be inside double quotes. And Boolean means uh, true or false. Uh, we didn't discuss more about that as we get to know in further classes. And examples, we can see examples here. Uh, age is equals to 30. And height, uh, it's an integer type. And uh, height is equals to 5.9. Uh, here, decimal value is there, so it's float. Excuse Name me, is equals to... Uh, uh, are you showing your collapse screen? No, I'm sharing my PPT. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, is it visible? The first page, right? Variables, input and output? Uh, no, variable types. Uh, it's not visible. I think you gave access only for that page. Yeah, now it's visible. Okay. okay. Uh, is it visible now? Yeah. No, and, no. Uh, for recap, you have one more minute. I didn't get you. Pardon? For recap, there is one more minute left. You can okay. do it fasting. Okay. Variable types. Um, I was continuing the variable types. Is it visible now? Yeah, it's visible. Yeah. Uh, variable types. Um, age is equals to thirty. Uh, means, uh, thirty is a whole number, so it is an integer type of variable, and height is equal to five point nine, uh, which is float, and name is equals to Bob. Uh, so it's inside double quotes, so it is string. Is student 
is equals to two means they are giving a true or false so it's boolean function so it's boolean so um, input means giving data to the computer as we uh, giving data uh, uh, so something just like in frame three plus five uh, for calculator and we get some thing uh, answer from uh, computer that's called as output and um, here we have converting the input types um age is equals to input and entire age so that here input command is used and here the value is used as string so because they have double quotes so for making integer we even take the same thing age is equal to and we put as integer we will define the as integer using int and inside the bracket we give the variable so now here we have input we are converted into integer next output means getting some answer from the computer as we give some input means uh, example we click 3 plus 5 uh, we get answer as five, uh, 3 plus 5 we get answer as 8 that's called as output uh, so that's all the thing we learned in our last class okay so pranava you can stop sharing your screen mm -hmm. and then i request arufa to share your screen yeah sure Okay, so first Tanisha will uh, explain about it, right? So is Tanisha here? Excuse me, Tanishka. Hello. Excuse me, Tanishka. Uh, like, did someone call me? Yeah. Uh, should I keep my video on? Mm, you can if you want. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. You can if you want. So, Tanisha, can you continue? Yeah. Hmm. Myself, Tanisha, from Christ School, Tandapura. Can you put for integer topic? Yeah. Can anyone say about integers? Integers, can anyone say about integers? You are all simil uh, similar with that integers, right? Can anyone say about integers? Integers are zero or a positive or a negative numbers, whole numbers without a fraction. Yeah, good. Okay. Integers are very, uh, integers means integers are whole number, negative or positive with and z or zero without a fractional and decimal point means it means whole numbers what do you mean by whole numbers can anyone say what do you mean by whole numbers whole numbers are the numbers which start from zero to infinity yeah like like it should be positive or negative numbers or zero it starts from zero, right? Positive or negative means positive plus or minus numbers. It should can or without a fractional or decimal point. Means fractional like P by Q. Decimal points means uh, like 0 0.01. Like in which function you can use decimal points? Hello. In which can you use decimal points? In which function? Float. Excuse me. Can anyone say in which function you can use float uh, decimal points? Float. Yeah, correct. Like, yeah, like can anyone understand? Uh, I'll uh, age example age equals input in input integers int function 
int function like int function is used to in python is used to like it should be a value int function we have to say it should be a value means like new uh, new numbers int means numbers right yeah example age equals 30 age equals 30 means age value is 30 30 print age means the value of age is 30 output will be 30 yeah can you uh, see the code rabbit equal, uh, rabbit values to total value 4 hello can i hear you yes yes you can uh, tanisha uh, we all can hear you okay you can continue Rabbit value is 2, right? Like, uh, turtle value is 4. Rabbit equals turtle. Means in Python, uh, 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 the right side value goes to uh, left side. Left side. So, the print uh, rabbit. Turtle value is 4. The turtle value goes to rabbit value. Means rabbit value goes for turtle. Like, turtle value goes for rabbit. Print rabbit. What the output can anyone say what's the output? Output will be 4. Yeah, correct. Let's we try another example. Mm, Tanisha has Hello. time is not there. So we can just get the output of this. I'll share my screen. Hmm. Yeah, you can uh, guide me. Book one equals in int uh, bracket input bracket uh, Twice, double quit. Enter a first number. First number. Next. Book two. Book two. Enter second number. Print book one. Print. Uh, in the next line. Print again. Print book two. Should I run the code now? Yeah. Mm, okay, so what will be the outcome if I run the code? Okay, let's let's run. Ten. Twenty. Yeah. 
if you didn't give the int function it will go up like this only or what Mm. So what Tanisha meant was, so here if you de don't use the INT here, then what would have happened? That's what she meant. Mm. Do anybody know answer what would have happened if she didn't use INT function here? Pranava, can you answer? Uh, okay, then Vaiga, can you answer what would have happened if I didn't use the INT function here? Uh, the answer would be as it is, right? Ah, yeah. So, like if it is an integer and if you give a string, it might mention you have to give integer. But uh, if it is already in the string form also, the number will be the, the same answer might get. Yeah, we will get the same answer, but it would be uh, considered as a string, not an integer. So, you know, default when you ask for the input, the value which you give or the input which you give is considered as string. So, string. this example, what she wanted to say is that this value is considered as the integer. Okay, so you have to use input from int function uh, if you want to refer to the integer. So, I'll sh stop sharing my screen. And then, Arufa, you can share your screen. So, I wanted to inform uh, you guys, I have sent you the time deadline, right? So, maintain that, okay? So, has it the beginning? Don't worry. So, you can go on, but make sure you are maintaining the time deadline, okay? So, yeah, next Am I audible? Mm, yes, you are. You can go on. Okay. Today, we are going to learn the difference between the integers and the strings. Uh, now itself, uh, now for two, three minutes, Pranava just recapped us what is string. String is a data type uh, where uh, which is made up of sequence of characters. You can just think uh, a list where items uh, are as characters and strings can be uh, accessed individually. It means uh, you can see here, hello is a hello is a string in the example three, uh, hello is a string. And if you, if you give a number, uh, the po positioning index of the string, uh, H is the zero, zeroth position, E is the first position, L is the third position, and so on. Uh, th the Python coding, uh, consider it as a, like, from zero to infinite uh, positioning index. That means it would be considered as a zeroth position. Uh, if you type print uh, A0 means the output will be H. Uh, string yes string string can be accessed uh, individually and the string is the uh, data type where uh, it's made up of a sequence of characters just uh, if you want an example means you can take a name uh, of our team members uh, you can take a name of uh, Vaiga there uh, Vaiga there is a spelling V Y G A uh, there is a letter letter after letter. That means a sequence of letters. The string data type would be made up of a sequence of letters. That's the first, uh, first point in the string. And the second point, as I said earlier, it can be accessed individually. Means in, uh, in the name of Vaiga, you can uh, access the letter Y or uh, uh, you can print the letter a directly without printing the full name of uh, Vaiga. That means uh, uh, you can access the character by its position. Means you have to know that you have to know first uh, that the Python 
interpreter uh, as a rule that it is on uh, zero to infinite number position means Vaiga, uh, the name Vaiga, V is the zero position and so on. Uh, that's the difference between uh, integer and strings. Uh, in, uh, in integers, uh, the integer is uh, mainly made up of a single unit. It's a whole unit. Uh, you cannot access its elements, which means uh, if you type a if you type a number, uh, for example, twenty three. 23 you cannot access or print a number 2 or 3 separately you can uh, print all uh, 23 itself but you can do uh, the arithmetic operations in the uh, integer data types uh, and one more thing you can add strings like uh, uh, a equals to hello and uh, b equals to word you can add uh, A and B and you will get hello world. Uh, that's the example of the strings characteristics. Uh, there are mainly three differences between strings, uh, which you have to remember that that is uh, a string is made up of uh, a sequence of letters I told earlier. And an integer is made up of, uh, it is a whole single unit and you can access a individual element in a string but you can't access an individual element or a number in the integer uh, and the third difference is you can uh, even slice uh, the data type string which means you can even get uh, the output in the name uh, you can uh, for just an example you can take uh, kiran's name uh, and you can slice. If you, uh, as I told earlier, the Python's interpreter has a position in index rule, uh, which starts from zero. Uh, K would be considered as zero. I would be considered as two. So uh, uh, name equals to Kiran and uh, B and name equals to Kiran. And if you uh, print and if you say it print and uh, name, and the square brackets and uh, the numbers you want, like from two to three position of the is name, uh, you will get the output of IAN. Uh, let me share with the screen and show such examples. Can I share the screen? Uh, sure, you can. Arufa, you can stop sharing your screen. And Nikton, you can make it fast. Does the screen is usable? Okay. Uh, here you can see uh, name. Kiran, it's a string type, which is enclosed with double quotation mark. You can see uh, I have given the print statement and the name, and uh, I have choose the position index, which I want uh, in the output zero. I have already told it's uh, K is in the zero position, and uh, you can see the first output uh, is shown as K. And the second output, uh, the position of his name four which is K I R A N, uh, which is N and you will get the output as N. And uh, the another characteristics of string is, uh, you can add strings uh, like name equals to I, greeting equals to name plus uh, pranav. Uh, print greeting, uh, here you will get uh, the output I pranav. Mm, that's that's the, another characteristic. And the third characteristics is you can uh, you can extract or you can uh, make it off or uh, how much ever you want. Here, uh, there is the full name of Pranava, which is Prana, Pranava Shiva Subramanian. And uh, to print his surname or to extract his surname, uh, there is a syntax. Uh, you just, uh, you just after uh, 
wanting what you want you just type the name and uh, uh, there is a syntax like you have to use the square brackets and the number which you want from uh, which position to what so here uh, is uh, surname starts from the position 8 uh, and ends in the position 24 so after uh, writing this and after giving a print uh, statement you will get the surname of uh, pranava and uh, these are the these are the uh, three uh, characteristics of uh, string data type and uh, now comes the integer i have already told that integers in integers uh, we cannot access uh, uh, individual digits or uh, characteristics uh, you can see uh, i have run the code here uh, as i did in the strings uh, data type the same i have did it in the integers uh, my num equals to 3 but uh, it uh, it's showing an error and same with the second statement uh, which is to slide 0 to 2. We can't even slide or we can't even uh, access the individual element of an integer. Uh, you can see uh, there is an error showing called integer object is not subscriptable. Uh, subscriptable means nothing but uh, you can't access it or you can't cut it into two hours or uh, you can't access it. Uh, you can't access it uh one minute okay sorry for the interpretation uh, you can't access it individually uh, that's the meaning of a subscript table uh, and uh, the other things you could do uh, with the integer data type is uh, you can add, um, subtract, multiply, division, such arithmetic operations could be done uh, in the string. Uh, you can see a code uh, where A equals to 23, B equals to 21, and uh, there are arithmetic operations here, and the results goes out like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These are the common uh, three major differences. You can even note it down if you want. Uh, I'll just summarize it. Uh, the three main difference between the strings and integers are, strings are a data type. Uh, strings are made up of a sequence of letters or characters, uh, but the integers are uh, the whole unit. It's a single unit. And uh, strings can be accessed individually or uh, strings characters can be accessed individually, which means we can uh, cut it or we can print any of its letters by its position index or uh, and in integers we can't we, we can't access it individually. Uh, that's the major three differences between integer integers and strings. Okay, that's it about the topic, right? Yes. Mm, you can stop share, sharing your screen. So, I, I I know that this topic is new to few of them, right? So, I'll give you a very simple example. So, I think you guys can understand that. So, think this, the item in the, uh, or think the word which is called has the string, like, the members okay the students inside the class so for example i'll sit in the first bench and then arufa in the second bench and then vaiga in the third bench okay so now if you want to um call arufa then you have to uh, refer to her bench for example i'm sitting in first bench and arufa in second and vaiga in third then the my bench name is zero and her bench name is one and then Vaigas is three and then so on. Okay, so if you want to call Arufa, then you have to mention her bench name, the desk which she's sitting on. So which how will you call her? Only Arufa. So which number will you use then? 
one. Hmm, that's right. Because Alpha is sitting in on the bench one. Even though her place is second, but her bench name is one. Okay. In the same way, if you write inside inside the string, if you have written apple, mango, banana, you can access each of the words. Okay. You can call only apple, only mango, only banana. Or else, if you have only apple, then you can print the each characters in the word. Like in apple, you can only access A and P and then L, E, like that. So you can access only to the particular character because it is also a type of a list. So we have not yet learned about it, but it is made of different characters. You can divide it. Okay. That's uh, like the example which I gave. It's similar to that. And this integers, it's not like that. Even if you write 1000 or 98, then it's considered has single value. Okay, not, 9 is not different, 8 is not different. They are same. They are single unit. So that is how integers and strings are different from each other. Did you understand? Did you understand, Tanisha? Yes. Hmm. So then, Arufa, you can share your screen. Okay, now who will be teaching this? Hamsini, I guess. Hamsini, are you here? Mm, you can start explaining. Hamsini, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Mm, you can start explaining. And, and also make sure that you are according to the timeline, okay? Like the deadline. So you have to finish your part according to that. Hello everyone, I'm Drat English Modeling School. Today I'm going to say you something about string. A string is a sequence of characters enclosed within either single quotations or double quotations. Means, which is written inside the single quotations, we have to see that what is the string and we can also write it in the, inside the double quotations also. In, in It is an immutable data type like sequence and index. Example, example we can also take it as sequence and order of collection. An order of collection of items accessible by the position index. This means that the items in a sequence have a specific order, and each other items can be ordered can be ordered, and each item can be accessed. Hamsini, are you on mute? Uh, we are not able to hear you. Others, can you hear? Or... No, we hmm. can't. No, no, we can't. Okay, Hamsini, can you... Mm, I think there's network issue. So I'll just continue. Okay. So a string is a sequence of characters enclosed within either single quote or double quote. It is an immutable data type. So string, before we already learned the difference, right? So I hope you'll know only little things. Uh, like, you know, you're already familiar, familiar with the string. So it's a sequence of characters. 
sequence means the collection of items so if you're going to define sequence then you can say the collection but it when it but when it comes to string you can say collection of the characters so if i take vaiga then each letter in the word is character you can access the whole word or any one particular letter in that word okay you can uh, you can access the characters using the index index means the bench name i told you before i used an example right so vaiga you can think the four words are in each bench so v in first bench then y in second bench then g in third bench and then a in last bench so there are four benches but the bench names will be different it's like it starts from zero okay so zero one two three and then now if i want to um just access only g then which uh, index should i use anush can you answer if i want to access only g or else um, chinmay can you answer in which bench uh, g is there hmm it's two hmm that's right that's correct because the uh, index it starts from left i mean 0 and then 1 2 and 3 so string is made up of characters okay you can um, put it in different boxes vaiga can be divided into four benches but if you write 1000 then you cannot divide into four box because it's a single value which is a single unit okay i hope you guys understood and then we can move on to the next slide okay so who will be explaining this length kruti okay hello everyone yeah. i'm i'm kruti now i'm here to explain about the length function today uh length means it's nothing but a length in a short form we call it has a length uh length is used to determine the number of items that are in the list so uh we can take any name as v jump so v jump is a basket and the members inside that basket are has string so uh i'll give you some example in the collab so it's like v jump okay v jump equals you write a bracket these are you write many names You will write Alpha, Tanisha, Nitin, Chinmay, Alpha, Pranava, blah blah blah. Alpha. Shall I share my screen? Yeah, Alpha, you can start. Stop. Stop sharing your screen. Kruti, you can make it fast. Okay. Yeah. So let's take the fruit equal sign, then the bracket. So uh, the fruits names are now the double double quotation mark. The fruits names are apple, mango, orange. So in the next line, print bracket. Len, so uh, this is how we code, and I'll run it. So we got the answer as one, but there are three fruits name. Can anyone tell why this happens? Nitya, can you? Oh uh, yeah. Chinmay. Yeah. Oh, uh, can you uh say me the question once again? Uh, due to network issue, I didn't hear. What did you say? Yeah. Uh, I have entered the three fruits name. 
but uh, mm -hmm. when i run the code the answer will be one why because uh, because that hole is a um right that hole will be the one uh, i'm not getting how to say that uh, Kruti, you can explain as some of us are not familiar with it. Yeah, uh, because I have used uh, for each and every one, we need to use a uh, double quotation mark. But for for the full bracket, I have used only one double quotation mark. For that, it's uh, the answer will be one. So when I use for each and every one double quotation mark, then I'll get the answer. Just a minute. Can anyone guess what the answer will be now? Yeah. Can you repeat once more? It's three. Three. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Kruti, there's an error. There's oh. double quotation two times. You can cancel. Yeah. Yeah, it's three. And uh, let me give one more example. It's a, uh, now let us take numbers. We can uh, either uh, uh, code has string and the uh, uh, list name, or either we can give len and in bracket only numbers. In two ways also, uh, the code will run. The answer is four. Yeah, shall I stop sharing, Tanishka? Okay, then. So, the next one. Just a second. So, Alpha, you can show the length. Okay, so be here. So, what Kruti meant was, using this length function, you can determine the length uh, or the number of items in the collection. You can use it with the string as well as with the integers. So you have seen the example. So here there's another another example. So in your family. So there are four members. So and then when you use length function, then you can um, see how many members or how many items are there in this collection. And then next slide. Okay, so Nitya, you can start. Uh, I suggest to make it fast. Oh, okay. So, so I am going to explain about immutable. Uh, so, first of all, what is immutable? So, immutable means if once a string is created, it cannot be changed or modified. But you will be able to create a new string. So, for example, like if you will create a first string, if there is a mistake in that string, you will you will be able to create a new string to execute that so now let us understand it by an example as it is given uh, as it is on the presentation that the first equals v jump and print first you can observe there that the v jump spelling is wrong uh, the j is in small letter so uh, here you can see that first in bracket two equals j then print first so uh, has now nitin explained that why it is given as two because we started from zero 
so j will be the third, uh, second letter so it uh, it is given as true but this code will not be executed in a proper way so this is this is the wrong one so below that you can see uh, another text another code uh, that is the proper one so you can see there the same thing first equals vism and print first as the spelling is wrong you you have to create you have to correct that so it's second equals first uh, this as it is the second string that we are going to create so it's uh, given a second then we are uh, not creating a new string but um, we are doing that related to the first one so uh, it's it is given as first in bracket 0 is to 2 so here you can see that it's 0 is to 2 so the only w and v w and e will be printed there but the second one the j will not be printed there then you are going to add the capital letter j then uh, you will be going to add the first 3 is to 6 so you can write 3 is to 6 uh, then u m and p will be executed you can write 3 is to 6 or just write 3 is to even if you write 3 is to then the whole thing will be uh, like executed then print the second string so this is the way how you can correct uh, how you can uh, execute that so did everyone understood this okay so i'll tell you so immutability means you cannot change so once you create it then again you cannot change it but you can create another string and you can use this string uh, you know you can use this because you cannot you can access only some part of the string right so you can use the first one and then you can create a new string and then you can execute it so that's how it works so here vgem is in the first variable vgem spelling is wrong so you didn't you cannot correct it as you can see in the picture right you accessed but you cannot correct it it's an error so you created another variable called second and then you used the first part of the variable that is w and e and then you added j and again you use some part of the first variable and then you print and then you have printed right so you have created new one it looks similar to the first one but you didn't modify it you just created the new one so immutability it means you cannot modify it once you create so i hope you guys understood so kruti did you understand yeah, I have understood. Yeah, so next slide. Okay, you have to finish this by 7.23 or 7.20. Yeah, okay, 7.23. Can I start? Ah, yeah, you can make it fast. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Chinmay of class uh, 8 standard. Uh, today, uh, working in collab question one. Okay, write, write a program that will, I welcome the person to the elevator and then it will ask which floor that person wants to go. Uh, okay, uh, and then you want to enter which floor you want to go. And it will show before you, and it will show before you go to the floor, it will show which floor you have chosen. For example, you choose a second floor. Like this is about programming question. Uh, shall I go for next? Uh, Arufa, you can, uh, yeah. Excuse me, should I stop sharing my screen? Mm, yes, you can. Uh, Chinmay, I'll share my screen and then you can guide me how to write the code. Okay. Can I? Hello? Uh, yeah, 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 you can. Print? Bracket?
double quotation welcome to the elevator okay so i'll just write welcome okay okay exclamatory okay then next floor bracket input bracket single quotation which floor would you like to go to okay so i'll make it short okay for now oh, okay bracket hmm 1 2 3 4 or 5 okay okay uh, i i did this this much okay and then and the next hmm print hmm bracket hmm double quotation you have chosen floor colon double quotation hmm comma floor bracket close Now, anybody can say what uh, year the mistake? Okay, Anush, are you there? Anush, you can say what's the mistake or what is wrong here? Okay, mm, Arufa, you can say what is wrong here? You got the output, but still, mm, you see. Uh, the input which I have given, uh, that can be changed. So like yeah. print, you should write, you have choose, you have choose floor, then colon. Then the output will be, you have choose, uh, you have chosen floor three. Mm, the, okay, that's right. So what I meant was, so here, the input which I have given is considered as string because when you use this input function, Whatever the value, whatever the input you give, it's considered as a string. It's the default thing. You no need to mention str. It's considered as a string. So even now, this tree is considered as three is considered as string. So here you have to use int. So we have learned about it, right? Int function. Yeah. So then the input which you give will be considered as the integer. Or else uh, the default thing it will uh, consider has the string itself. So even if the if you get the output, then it will not be correct. Okay. So I'll stop sharing my screen and then Arufa, you can show the assignment. Uh, question two is pending. Hmm. You can just show and go back to the session within one minute mm, yeah okay so the so the question number two is write a program that asks for students marks in four subjects and adds them up so you should write a program for um, uh, that Arupa, you, you can just show the assignment okay mm, yeah uh, okay, can I see the assignment? You can hear me, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, please go on. Okay, so everyone, today you mainly learn about integers and strings, right? So based on that, you have a small assignment. The assignment is nothing but you have to create a program that performs, so you can see on the screen, a basic arithmetic operation with two numbers, and you also have to use an input. For example, there should be a small calculation Okay, like a plus two is three, a small calculation. And that also include an input. So where can you use input here? 
to get those two numbers to calculate, you can use the input right. So you can use your own idea and you can uh, share your assignment. Does anyone have any doubt? On, did you, you all can create the... four variables and then you can ask for user input and then uh, you do all the four arithmetic operation. Okay, that's the assignment. So you can return to the main session now. Thank you, everyone. <sighs> Thank you. It was very interesting and uh, very mm. understandable. Mm. Who, who, who is your instructor? Leo brother. Okay. So how was uh, his uh, instructing instruction? It was very beautiful and he was, uh, mm. in talking, it was very clear and very understandable. And this was the that best class. And uh, did you also explain anything? No, this, this week, uh, last week I explained, but this week, uh, Gautam explained. Mm. So, not explained. Mm. For the next week, everyone should prepare something to explain. So, Leo brother will let you know what you need to prepare. And then Abhishek, you can prepare those portion and then speak in the next class. Okay, bro. Okay, okay, sir. And uh, Nitya, how was today's class? Sir, it was very, uh, sir, it was very, uh, like everybody explained, so uh, it was very good. Everybody explained? Uh, yes, sir. In your group? Uh, yes, sir. Uh -huh. So everybody was given a, a topic to explain. Uh -huh. So everybody explained. I see. So when did you prepare your portion? Sir, yesterday and uh, day before yesterday. Yeah, like that. So everyone prepare your portion in advance. And then during the class, members uh, should explain and not the instructors. Members should be the main instructors. Okay. Instructors are helpers, but you are the main instructors. And I appreciate all the instructors and the members and the teachers. Yeah. Thank you very much and uh, see you again. Excuse me, sir. Abhishek. Yeah. Sir, I thought that I forgot that I, uh, I explained a little code. Mm, well done. A mm. pair of friends. Sorry, mm. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Good night. Sir, sir, today I have to explain, but uh, next week I will explain. So. <laughs> yeah, everyone should explain. Yeah, everyone. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, prepare. Uh, yeah. Sir, I'm Trinita, sir. Mm. From our group, many are not getting, uh, not means don't know how to uh, add screen share mm. means many are getting different options in adding screen i request uh, we will uh, we will explain i will explain about uh, how to add screen in next class yes so before before next class so you meet your team members and explain okay sir so mm. sir also and sharing the now, sharing the screen also you need to explain yeah Pragana? sir many are absent from our group sir only three members are present yeah so you need to write down the attendance yes, sir. Okay. from our group also only three are present mm. so you need to write down those who are the present those who are absent so that you need to keep and then the, if uh, they keep missing the classes uh, we will ask other students to join. Yeah, so they may lose the chance. There are many other students who want to join region and then they want to learn. So others will get the chance. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, mm. sir uh, this week I explained about uh, that copy and paste uh, option also, sir. Mm, well done. Mm. Because uh, mm. I observed from all assignments is that they are uh, calculating and directing uh, and writing the answer directly. Mm. 
Mm. I found that many students are doing so. I I think they are having mobiles, and then uh, if, if we are dragging, also we are not getting answers. So I explained the uh, copy and paste option, sir. Sure. Then they understood. Yeah. Okay, well done. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir